Hey guys, good to have you back. In my previous tutorials, I discussed how to create forms, use conditional formatting, and some basic functions. I'll link those tutorials below. Now we're going to use all of these to create a spreadsheet that shows us our monthly income and expense budget. This is very helpful in seeing the big picture of how we use our money each day and where we stand financially. We'll begin by creating a form that will be filled each time an expense or income is made. Give your form a title and add some questions to the form. The date, the types of expenses or income you may have. I've created a list of expenses and income ahead of time, but you can add anything that's relevant for you. And lastly, the amount. Let's preview the form. And in the response tab, click on the sheet symbol to determine where the response destination will be. Sheets will open a new tab with all of the questions and responses once they're made. Let's add another sheet to our file and we'll begin mapping out our table for the budget. At the top, we'll have our months. Let's fill it in blue. And below, we'll have our expenses. We'll fill that in red. Let's add another row and column, which will be for our totals, and fill it in a darker red. We'll add a couple of rows for the income section and fill it in green. Let's add another column and row for the totals and fill it in a darker green. In the top left hand corner, we'll write in the year of the budget. For the month of January, we can use the date function, equals date, open parentheses, A1 for the year, one for the month, and one for the day, close parentheses. For the month of February, We'll use the date function a bit differently. Equals date, open parentheses, year, open parentheses, select cell B1 and close parentheses, comma, month, open parentheses, select B1 again, close parentheses, plus one, comma, day, open parentheses, again B1, and double close parentheses. The reason for using the date function instead of simply writing the date or month is firstly so that we can drag the formula and secondly so that when we create future budgets in future years it's carried over correctly and we'll only need to update the year in the top left corner. And let's format the cell so that the months are written out. On the left, we'll list our expenses. I'll copy it from my pre-existing list and paste the values. Here we can get rid of this extra row. Now we'll copy and paste our income. Make sure you copy and paste the expenses and income exactly as it appears in the forms so that all the responses will be entered accordingly. Next, we want to add the formula that will calculate all the responses that will be entered from the forms. And we want to make sure that they're all entered into the correct month. We'll start under January for the mortgage. Let's type equal sign, sum ifs, open parentheses, and we'll go to the tab for the form responses and click on column D for the expense or income amount, comma, Column C for the expense or income type, comma, click on cell A2 to choose mortgage as the search key, and press F4 three times so that column A remains constant. Comma, click on column B for the date of the transaction, 
comma, and now we want to make sure that only January responses are calculated. So type quotations, greater than, equal sign, quotations, and sign, and click on B1 for January. This tells Sheets to begin calculating any response that is equal to or greater than this first date. Go back to select column B for the dates, comma, quotation, less than, quotation, and sign, select column C1 and close parentheses. This tells Sheets to calculate responses that are less than this date, which is February. Let's go back and mark the months in the columns constant by pressing F4. Now we're ready to drag the formula so it's copied into all of the cells. You've noticed that we're coming up with all zeros, and that's because no responses have been entered yet. Let's put in some responses to see that the budget gets updated accordingly. There you go. You can see that it works fine. If I change the year in the top corner, you can see that the responses are removed because they're no longer relevant. Let's go back now and we'll copy the formula from the expenses to the income section. Again, let's check to see that everything is okay. Yes, everything is fine here as well. Now we want to add the formulas for the totals. Equal, sum, open parentheses, and select the entire row for the mortgage payments. Close parentheses. Now drag the formula down so that it's copied for the remaining expenses. We'll do the same for the totals for each month, and again, drag to copy it. We can paste the formula for the income section as well by right-clicking, Paste Special, Paste Formula Only. For the monthly income totals, we can just write the function again, equal sign, sum, open parentheses, and select both income cells close parentheses, and drag to copy. Now let's fill out some forms so the responses are entered into the budget and the table looks more complete. Now we can see that the table has been filled with all of the responses from forms. But I can see that there are no responses recorded in December or the other row either. They're all appearing as zeros, so let's see what the issue is and check out the formula. Okay, so I can see that Sheets is looking to record responses from December 1st up to the next month, but I didn't enter a date in the next column. This is an easy fix. We'll copy the formula and paste special formula only. And now we can see that the responses have appeared. Let's just change the font color for the cell. Now let's see where the issue is with the zeros in the other row. Let's go to our form responses. Okay, I've written A, B, C, and D to represent different expenses that should go into the other category but they don't seem to be represented in the table. The problem is that Sheets is looking for the word other, just as it looked for the words mortgage or groceries. But we obviously are going to write several different responses, so we'll have to change the formula a bit. Instead of asking Sheets to search for the word other, we'll ask it to sum up all January responses and then subtract all the other responses that have already been entered into the table. The result will leave us with only other expenses that are not listed in these categories. We'll remove the criteria range and search key. 
and at the end of the formula type minus sum open parentheses and select the range to be subtracted. Close parentheses. Now we can see all of the other responses. So we have this table with our expenses and income, but it still isn't clear just by looking at it where we stand financially. We'll add a border and I'll show you how to add a balance. Type equal and take the total expenses for January and subtract the total income for January. Now click and drag to copy the formula over. We can now see our balance for each month. But this can be much clearer if we format the cells a bit. We'll select the cells, format, conditional formatting, and set a color scale. Let's choose the red, white, green and set the points to numbers. The midpoint will be zero. The midpoint will be negative 5,000 and the max 5,000. Now our financial situation is much clearer. When the deficit is high, the balance turns red. When we're in a surplus, the balance turns green. Another way we can see all this information clearer is by creating a chart. Click on insert, chart, and now you can choose which type of chart will be best for you. I'll choose the stepped area chart so we can see overlapping areas between the expenses and income. Once you've chosen your chart type, you need to choose the information you want the chart to display. Click on Select Data Range and we'll begin to select our ranges. First we select the months, add another range, and next we'll select the total income. Add another range, and now select our total expenses, and OK. Combine the ranges vertically, and switch the rows and columns. For the x-axis, we'll choose the months, but remove them from the series. Now we can click directly on the chart to make changes. We'll select the blue series here, and we can change the color to green to represent our income. Feel free to expand and move the chart to wherever is comfortable for you. Now we can immediately see in our chart which were good months and which months we just spent too much. So the year is over and it's time to make a new budget. This will be really easy. Right click on the current tab 2020 and duplicate. Rename the tab 2021 and the only change you'll need to make here is in the top left corner. Change it to the new year. You can see that all the results are removed because they were in relation to the previous year. We're only left with the response that was dated in January 2021. You can see that in the form responses. There you have it, a great way to see an entire year's worth of expenses and income. Hope this video was helpful for you. If you need any help with any of this or want to share your thoughts, comment below and I'll be happy to help. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. See you next time.